years admission in Georgia. It's now six plus three years course duration in Georgia. You have to give some licensing exam in Georgia. Hello everyone, this is Meera and welcome to my YouTube channel. In my today's video, I'll be talking about the advisory which was issued by Indian Embassy in Yerevan to all those students who are seeking MBBS admission in Georgia. Ever since this uh, uh, advisory was issued, I have been getting repeated calls from all the students seeking for the clarification. I have been receiving the forwarded audios and the videos where people are like, uh, MBBS admission in Georgia has now come to an end. You have 10 years duration in Georgia for medicine and, and what not. So in my today's video, I'll be talking about the same advisory and would like, like to mention that not everything that was being circulated among the students is exactly true. Few things were not properly analyzed, few things were not properly, you know, uh, made clear to the students. Uh, in my today's video, I'll be talking about the most important points that is like fifth and sixth point and uh, make sure you uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and watch this video till the end for the proper clarification about this advisory and forward this same video with your friends and families. And So I definitely will not talk more about the first four points because these are self-explanatory. And before that, I would like to mention that many students have already taken admission in Georgia. Many of them, they graduate and are practicing as a registered doctor in India and this advisory all of a sudden out of the blue has created a lot of chaos among all the students there are students who have already taken admission in Georgia there are students who have processed their uh, Ukraine uh, they, have, they, have, they have processed their transfer from Ukraine to Georgia and this advisory has like left all the students blank the students are confused many of them are paranoid and they are like they don't know what to do they are like uh, looking left and right for the uh, proper clarification such audios and videos definitely created a lot of chaos among all the students uh, point number one talks about the duration of undergraduate medical program in georgia which is of six years six years and uh, the duration of internship or uh, the clinical rotations in georgia that also uh, fulfills the norms of uh, nmc uh, which is of 12 months and third point is of the medical universities in Georgia provide internship in the same medical university uh, hospitals or um, any other hospitals in Georgia so yeah if the university have uh, their own hospitals then the clinical rotations are done in the same hospitals and if some university they don't have their own hospitals then they sign a MOU with other hospitals and students are given their clinical rotations in those hospitals fourth point is about uh, are the Indian students allowed to touch the patients or not? So yes, irrespective of the nationality, all the all the students in Georgia are allowed to touch the patients while doing their clinical rotations. Now comes the most important point, that is fifth point. The fifth point says that does an Indian student get registered under any professional regulatory body or otherwise under any institution that is competent to grant a license at par to the citizens of Georgia? So the answer to this is like MD students regardless of their nationality do not get registered under any regulatory body as they are not allowed to perform any independent medical practice. So I am like uh, stressing on this word independent medical practice. Once they finish with the program, students usually take a national post diploma qualification exam which allows the graduate to continue with post graduate studies which is the PG. So as for this fifth point, people are like, now you cannot practice as a doctor in Georgia. You complete your MBBS and then you have to write one exam. Then, then you'll have to do your three years of PG and only then you'll be able to get a license in Georgia to practice as a doctor. Well, uh, this is not exactly the fact. What happens as per the Georgian rules and as per our talks with the Georgian authorities, any university which is accredited by NCEQE which is National Center for Educational Quality Enhancement they the university has to be accredited with NCEQE and also the same university has to be accredited internationally which is under the WFME which is any university is accredited by these authorities are beyond doubt accredited and recognized by the Ministry of Education and Science in Georgia. 
and if you have uh, graduated from these universities if you complete your md program from these universities then you will be able to practice as a junior doctor in georgia so ju- practicing as a junior doctor does not require any license uh, from the students so you can complete your md course and then you can practice as a junior doctor i hope the concept of junior doctor is very clear to all of you you complete your md course you complete your mbbs course and then you can practice as a junior doctor in georgia now let's talk about independent medical practitioner so if you want to practice as a doctor independently in georgia then you will have to give your pd2 exam so if you don't have any plans of practicing as an independent doctor in georgia you don't have to give this exam next comes if you want to practice as a physician in georgia and work in a very uh, and, and work in an accredited hospitals of georgia then you will have to do your pg in georgia for 3 years and then you get the license you get the registration to practice as a doctor in the accredited hospitals of georgia now my question is uh, if you don't want to settle in georgia why would you do your pg in georgia and more importantly why are you inclu- including your pg course of 3 years in your undergraduate course why are you considering that you will have to do your 6 years plus 3 years in georgia and only then you can come back to india that that's not right you have to if you have plans of settling in georgia you follow this entire procedure if you have plans of coming back to india then you come back to india give your licensing exam in india and then practice as a doctor in india the concept here is more or less same and it's similar to india so if you what you do in india is you do your mbbs program then you do your internship then you write your next exam and then you do your pg to become a physician in india so when your own country is asking you to give a licensing exam to practice as an independent medical doctor in india then how can we expect any other country to give us a license immediately after our mb uh, you know after our md course at least you can practice as a junior doctor in georgia after your mbbs but if you need a license and of course license exam is mandatory in every country it's not just in georgia and this is this is not something that i am making it up or this is not something that you know i have self analyzed or anything this, these this is the this is the procedure that georgia follows these are the rules that georgia has guys things are very clear here you you don't have to worry about 9 years course duration in georgia which is really not true you complete your mbbs you come back to india prepare for your next exam give your licensing exam in india then do your pg in india and then you can practice as a medical doctor in india and if you have plans of settling in georgia then of course you'll have to follow the procedure that georgian citizens follow and then you can become a doctor in uh, georgia so to sum up everything uh, any university that you take admission in should be accredited by nceqe which is national center for educational quality enhancement and this, that university has to also be accredited by wfme and then once you graduate from these universities you can practice as a junior doctor then it's your further plans if you want to settle there you go ahead with the uh, pdq exam and then do your pg in georgia but like don't include your pg in your undergraduate program you don't have to do 6 plus 3 do your 6 years come back to india prepare for your next exam here and then give licensing exam in india and then do your pg in india So this is all that I have to say about this advisory. If you have any further questions, then feel free to comment below. And also, you can reach out to me on the number mentioned in the description box. MBBS in Georgia is definitely valid. MBBS in Georgia is of six years and is being taught in the English medium. And uh, all the universities that you take admission in Georgia should be NMC. WHO ECFMG WFME accredited so if you are a student who are uh, taking admission in the accredited universities then you have no problem at all there is no end for MBBS in Georgia you can still take MBBS admission and come out as a well qualified doctor so the students who are looking for fresh admissions can contact me on the number mentioned in the description box and for all the students who are looking for transfers from ukraine to georgia can also contact me on the same number we have a very beautiful university which is accredited by nmc who and cfmg and is uh, giving and is accepting the transfer students from ukraine at a discounted tuition fee same university is giving you the time of 6 months for all the ukraine students to provide their transcript 
not just that the university also doesn't have any semester loss for the students who are taking transfer so what are you waiting for contact me on the given number and make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel because all the videos that i upload will definitely be worth a watch thank you so much Thank you.